World Cup live. Later on, we'll be recreating the goals of the greatest ever winner of the Golden Boot. <laughs> golden Boot, yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll be saying a big hello to Eve McManaman. Hello, I'm Eve McManaman. <laughs> and she really is called Eve McManaman. That's her safety first certificate. <laughs> so it says first aid, immediate response, and then brackets yeah. one day. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. But anyway, here's a few things we've noticed from watching the World Cup over the last couple of days. Last night, the Germans brought on four strikers to no avail. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> should have tried bringing on Mehmet Scholl of Bayern Munich. Here he is displaying all his vision and awareness. <laughs> It was good to see Tina Turner at the World Cup the other day, but she's having real problems with her hormone replacement therapy. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> ITV commentator Kevin Keegan gives us an insight into the kind of glamorous company he keeps. I, was, I, I wasn't working on that one. I was uh, yeah. with a group. I went out with a uh, uh, Battle's Cash and Carry. Yeah. <laughs> Battle's Cash and Carry. And now, and now, this is the easy one. How's he get an absolutely guaranteed cheer on Fantasy World Cup Live? Possibly <laughs> 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 Pavlovian. <laughs> oh, sorry, let's see it again. Aye, aye. All right, aye. <laughs> Anyway, we've had a lot of letters uh, recently. We had a letter from, well, Dr. Bernardo's, or Bernardo's apparently, as it is called, because you know that we sent them 750 quid for Pedro Monzon's pants, and they were very pleased about that, but they said, proud though we are of our history, we haven't used the prefix doctor in our title for 10 years, and we don't work with orphans any longer. <laughs> oh, well, oh, some not... people are never satisfied, not... are they? <laughs> Dr. Bernardo. That's it? Terrace, Dr. What Bernardo. would you call it? It's always Dr. Bernardo, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Bernardo. Anyways, I'm outraged. Talking. Yeah, we're not the only people who are absolutely outraged. <laughs> <laughs> the old Dr. doctor's well pissed, pissed off, isn't very it? Very pissed off. <laughs> now, we also had a letter from Dennis Barmin from Skelmersdale in Lancashire, who's offered 25 quid, this is genuine, 25 quid to buy these pants. <laughs> Echoey stato, that was. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about that? I think it's an insulting offer, 25 quid. Do you? Yeah, they must be worth more than that. Your pants? No. No, I think they were, that's a lot for your pants. Well, I would say 25 we've got quid. them, haven't we? Yeah, we, you can have them, by the way, Dennis. You can have his pants. Uh, he wants Pedro's. to buy them for his brother, Billy, yeah. he says. What a close family they are. <laughs> Pedro's pants, you may know, we put in a little case. We've also put Stato's pants uh, in a case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously, it was 25 miles underground. Um, but we've dug it up especially. Yeah. And uh, we were going to give the 25 quid to Dr. Bernardo's, you see, but we looked up their address under D, obviously, <laughs> and there was nothing there. No. Right? <laughs> so instead, the 25 pounds goes to the Daewa Anglo Japanese Foundation. <laughs> It is. Is it the doorbell? Who is it? Helen Chamberlain and Alan Davis. Yes, yes. Well done, okay. mate. <laughs> is that what they chanted at Al Jolson when he did the jazz singer? <laughs> 
talky. <laughs> talk anyway. Um, <laughs> too clever for Very these. Clever, Very clever. these people from London. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't get it for a while. Um, yeah. Can you keep your nose out of our chocolate oh, salad, really? Davis? There's no Don't chocolate in them. If you like. Zinedine yeah. Zidane chocolate. Yeah. There. yeah, we didn't have that chocolate in there for some of the World Cup, but then it came back again. <laughs> <laughs> Too clear. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Sorry, just nosing about. So you, right. You've actually been to the World Cup? Yeah, I went oh. to six matches. Did wow. you? That's, look, look, I went to Brazil, Chile. Oh, yeah. And it's got Chile there, that's French for Chile, above <laughs> it, just in case your French customer couldn't work out that that there said yeah. Chile. <laughs> yeah, I had a great time. What are you doing here, you fools? Uh, well, England are out, so we can't be bother going oh, in there anyway. Yeah. Not much point. What about Helen? Have you been enjoying the World Cup? Yeah. Oh, that was a bit of a cut. <laughs> <laughs> but i got to say, I'm really bored with it now. I, it's, it's just getting on my nerves. I'm fed up with poncy foreign football. I want to go to Scunthorpe now. I want to go to Harlan, <laughs> Darlington and Rochdale and... Yeah. I'm yearning for, you know, proper football, not right. blow on you and you'll fall over and roll about. So, right. D Dave, do you want to get to Chelsea to get away from Ponzi Farm football? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like Ponzi Farm football. So you think it'll be less boring at Scunthorpe and all that? OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's what I call proper football, isn't it? Everybody in whatever league they're in, they call it the proper, proper football. I think Division 3 is proper football. <laughs> Well, that's a very sad that, cheer. Yeah. <laughs> a rubbish that cheer. That was a cheer that, that it sounded like there should be a cheer, but we went, oh. uh, <laughs> right, no. yeah, Is she right? I'm not earning, sure. They're earning 350 quid a week, so that's they're what not, I call they? proper oh, football. Who's paying them that much? Oh, <laughs> they are a talkie, anyway. Talkie. Did you watch the, uh, the Germany Croatia game? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah. That was great. No, I'll tell you what I liked about it. It was really nasty. Yeah. They hate each other, don't oh, they? I know they really, really, really hate each yeah, other. Yeah, because at Euro 96, it was also a really violent fixture. The Croatians are so arrogant, aren't they? We'll beat them, they're easy to beat every time they're coming up to them. And they did. Yeah. Who'd have well, thought Well, you don't <laughs> like it. You think Suke is an arrogant-looking bloke, don't I you? I do, yes. And I know the Germans don't like arrogance in any yeah. manner for <laughs> 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 The only country that's more arrogant than the Germans. They <laughs> out-arroganted them. I don't know how it's done. Suka's a genius, though, isn't he? he? But he hates his teammates. If the ball comes in the box and it's not on his forehead, he just walks away waving his hands in the air like this. Yeah. He's got a very wavy haircut as well. And so he's got he... an odd little chin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah. I'll tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, that point about Sue Corrin's <laughs> chiselling face. <laughs> Thank God. You wouldn't get that made on Under the Moon. Would you? <laughs> You've mentioned um, under the moon. Oh, God, I've never under mentioned the... it before. It's not under the, under the, moon, it's not the pig with oh. scarf joke. No, I won't. Um, oh, I won't. Um, do you know there's a thing on, on French television, you know that the pictures are broadcast all over the world, there's a thing called the fair play moment. Oh, yeah. Which they always, they cut out when it's shown on English television normally, but it's a little sweet moment from the game, which mm. is supposed to encourage... Yeah, they couldn't find play. one at Germany, Croatia. <laughs> <I don't think. laughs> but this is the one that they showed from Romania, Tunisia. You get a little graphic. And this bloke's hobbling like the Tunisian, he's hurt himself. It's not a joke, it's a genuine thing. And the goalie just helps him out. Look, look at that. Ah. Oh. That's not his teammate, that's the other goalie, is it? That's oh, the other goalie. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, not the other goalie, no. It's no. a forward. You wouldn't have run the length of the pitch to pick up the other goal. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I meant, no, no, no the point was, it wasn't the Tunisian goal. Oh, I'm I'm with you now. Tunisian? Yeah. You know the Tunisian goalie, do you? <laughs> Sorry, this show used to be quite good. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that, I like... I like all that. I like all that kicking the ball back to the other team when one of their players goes down and all that stuff. It's yeah. all but, very nice. Yeah, it's very nice, but it can go wrong, though, fair oh, yeah. play. Yeah, look at this. This is a moment from a Korean league game, right? And the team in blue, the other team, one of those players just been injured, so you think, I oh, know, I'll knock this back to them, just knock it back to the goalie, let them have the ball. Watch this. to let them score, but there's a fullback and the goalie, a Russian, and they don't... They can't communicate to them that they're trying to let them score. <laughs> so there's just two blokes there. Look at this there. <laughs> let them score, Heinrich. Get out! <laughs> It away though, there. That's yeah. Division 3. That is Division 3 yeah, football. Yeah. There was nobody for miles around, but you still put it in the Rose Ed. Yeah, <laughs> exciting. Well, Torquay should put an offer in yeah. for that bloke. Yeah. They probably have. Yeah. 15 grand. 
Yeah. Yeah. Brazil, not Brazil very good, Chile. I think his name. Sorry? The Brazilian fans. Brazil, by the way, are the Man United of the World Cup because none of the Brazilian fans in the stadium were actually from Brazil. They're all... Yeah. Like... You go up to pick one, maybe just, there'd be lads from England. There's a bloke there in a Brazilian shirt. Yeah, are you Brazilian? Yeah, he's not, is he? What part of, what part of Brazil are you from, mate? Pardon? Where are you from? I'm actually from Nigeria. Nigeria? Yeah. That's near Brazil. Not that close. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bloke here. the glasses He's, he's got a Brazil shirt. Where, where are you from? Are you, are you me, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> My sister thinks so, yeah, but, right. um, no, I'm from Oxford. It's from Oxford. That's something. I swear there were no Brazilians in the ground. Well, I'm not going to wear an Oxford shirt, am I? Why not? Anyway, now it's time for our new series, Obscure World Cup Lookalikes. Tonight, Sting's mate, Chief Rayoni, <laughs> and Paraguayan keeper, Jose Luis Gilavere. <laughs> So, three, three people clapping, all rain on the roof. Who can tell? <laughs> <laughs> you pleased to see Argentina go out as well? It's been very, very pleased yeah. indeed. Are you pleased, tell them? Yeah. A rather bigoted audience. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, they're rabid, aren't they? And Maradona, <laughs> and apparently on uh, <laughs> television, praising Simeone for getting players sent off. Was he? Yeah, he said on, <laughs> on, on, on TV, and he was saying that uh, Simeone waited for Newman to come over as if it's chocolates, and then wham, got him sent off. And then he said well, that's two players he's got sent off this World Cup, and gave a little chuckle. Really? <laughs> well, he's got a problem, Maradona. Have you seen the size of his penis? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a clip here of the Argentine goal from yesterday. There you go. Black stays down, and this is Lopez. The thing about this, though, look, is Lo Lopez scores, and he holds up his shirt, look, and you can't see what's on his T-shirt. Really annoying. Luckily, we've got the camera shot from the, from the other angle on this one. <laughs> Last week, last week, if not last week, was it? It was about three it? days no, ago. Two days ago. Yeah, um, thingy were on. What they call Hampton Deck? Deck. What's yeah. happened to you? I thought they were PJ and Donkey, but they aren't <laughs> anymore. <laughs> and uh, someone had written into us, if you remember, and they were called Lindsay Reeve and uh, Martin Parry. And Lindsay wanted uh, to propose to Martin through Anton Deck yes. in a strange sort of medium. Wanted us to propose right. and then Anton Deck just did it. They just did it. It was and a lovely moment. And, and Lindsay and Martin are, I believe, in tonight's audience. Where are you? There they are. Hello. Hello. So, um, w were you watching uh, Martin when that went out? Yeah, most definitely, yeah. <laughs> were you shocked? Shocked? Yeah, he's passed out. <laughs> but what did you say in the end? Um, I was for, uh, forced into no. it. No! You were forced into yes. it? So you said yes? Oh. No. <laughs> it was a drink talking, it was a drink. You're going to get, um, Lindsay, you're, you must be very pleased, are you? No, last minute. I was relieved you didn't say no, because it was on telly, yeah. Yeah, it'd be terrible. <laughs> to turn down Ant and Depp, well, exactly, it wouldn't yeah. be morally correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not every day, it's not every day you get posted on TV by Ant and Deck. No, no, that, that no it's the basis for a long and stable marriage, I'm sure. <laughs> so when do you get married? Um, just as uh, probably when West Bromwich Albion win the league. <laughs> can we get any really need for that? I've got this guy. <laughs> 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 no, no, look at this. He's twice as good looking as these. Let the dogs off. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Ooh, 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 Actually, we had, a, we had another letter. Otherwise, oh, stop it. We had another letter. There's people at home now, ITV yeah. watching, thinking, oh, he's got dogs on there. <laughs> Can you, can you, it must can you be not speak about ITV watchers like that? Now, <laughs> we had a letter, actually, from another ITV watcher about this. It said, Dear Frank and David, on your last show... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, the guests have started amusing oh, themselves. I didn't know I was going to do that. This is very important. I'll be there. Come on, it's like the 
the World Cup ball. Oh. It's like a on your last on show. <laughs> on, hold on. We had a letter. We're going to have to switch it off, Alan. I've, I've done it. <laughs> Com Comedians Union, switch it off. <laughs> it said, on your last show, Anton Deck helped someone called Lindsay propose to a boyfriend of seven years, Marty. Well, I was wondering if you could do me a similar favour. My boyfriend of five years, Alan Brown, will be watching your show right now. And I'd really appreciate it if you'd tell him that I've had enough of him. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh, says, she says, our relationship is over, I want his bags packed and him out of the house by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And please tell him that the girl he's been seeing behind my back is a right slapper. <laughs> Thank you from Mandy Day. P.S. I really enjoy your show. P.P.S. Now I'm single again. How are you fixed, Frank? <laughs> On another trip down memory lane. <laughs> of course, in Mexico, you know, the Mexicans eat a lot of Mexican food. You know, guacamole, fajitas, doritos, enchiladas, burritos, tacos, salsa, jalapeno peppers. <laughs> Chili con carne. You know, those sort of purple black beans that go all mushy. Chimichanga. Casalaguilas. Because I never touched any of it myself. It all looked a bit hot. <laughs> It's like Jerry Springer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a Can I swear right? then? <laughs> no, so, you can't uh, swear. My dad did that in the last show. I was, know, that was yeah. brilliant. <laughs> it was. It no, must have been quite unexpected, but no, it, funny. No, not at all. Not unexpected, not unexpected <laughs> at all, though. Yeah. So, what do you reckon to all the refereeing and that in the World Cup, generally Shocking. speaking? It's just the same as throughout with all the domestic league, isn't it? No, it's the much worse. The inconsistency. How could he send Beckham off for that? He was never going to hurt anyone, was he, that flick? That doesn't matter. Yeah, I agree with that. Right. And I think if you're not going to... I mean, there's tackles where serious injury is possible and they get a yellow card. I think yellow card each. But you see, what they can't do, they can't do that... Right, do that again, son. Chit-chat, can they? They can only do a lot of gesturing and yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, well, he was Danish, so he probably speaks English. He ought to be out. Yeah. You, okay. know, you know, Seth Blatter is like the boss of FIFA, or about to be the boss. You know FIFA? Yeah. Well, say so you know FIFA. I don't know exactly. What do they do, FIFA? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They no organise the World FIFA. Cup, apparently. Yeah, they organise it yeah. in a rule-making sort of a yeah. fashion. Mm. And um, it's gone really quiet now, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we have a bit Set, of information Set... about Seth. Yeah, well, Seth Blatter, I, I know his sister, Fanny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. so many people have heard the phrase, but carry no, on. Okay. <laughs> right on, Jerry. And, uh, <laughs> and this, is a, this is a fact about Sepp Blatter, and I swear this is, this is a fact, and we'll show you the thing. In 1971, Sepp Blatter, the same Sepp Blatter, was named president of the World Society of Friends of Suspenders. <laughs> a society formed by a group of 120 men from 16 countries regret women replacing suspender belts with pantyhose. <laughs> <laughs> That is the Seth Blatter, Seth Blatter is the president of that, as well as FIFA. Is he still in charge of that? Yeah, well, he's about to become, because he's actually he's the president-elect, yeah? And he's, right. he's very concerned about diving, actually. We've got a clip of him here. There he is. He's the one on the right, right? OK. That's, and he's very, very worried about diving. <laughs> A corker. That was Diego Simeone brought him down, <laughs> and then he probably got sent off afterwards. Yeah. What gets me though is this: the rule change thing. Is why bother when football is so great? 
Why bother messing about with golden goals and offsides? Oh, I don't and the world's most popular game. Man. Didn't your dad? Your dad, Ellen, had some revolutionary idea, didn't he? Yeah, with all the uh, shirt tugging and everything, he just said, "Why don't they make the shirts out of Velcro? <laughs> Two well, sleeves and a front and back. No, not right. completely out of Velcro. Two sleeves, front and back. So if anybody tugs your shirt, it comes away in the hand. It's a good idea. Caught red-handed." You could, have a you could have it in sections, like a patchwork one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe different, different yeah. points on each yeah. one. And if you rip them and say, oh, that's a seven. Um, maybe you could just hit him in the face. My mother had a better <laughs> idea. Your mother had a better My idea? My mother had a better idea. She said, why don't they all play in leotards and there'd be nothing to grab hold of? Which the more you think about it, the funnier it gets. <laughs> leotard? Might, might, yeah. might be something to... Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who's going to get that? Nobody. But okay. If you got the leotard you had to joke, do write in. <laughs> <laughs> We're still having a very success satisfactory answer to why not master, by the way. Yeah. So, do you know, so Brian Moore, but, but when Brian Moore belches afterwards, yeah. he says... Oh, never not mind. Not. And now, welcome, <laughs> Felix, from the Flames. <laughs> Felix Just, you hold the record for goals scored in the World Cup. 13 in Sweden in 1958. Yes. Have you seen them? Well, there is a FIFA official film of the tournament. Yeah, the problem with making the film in Sweden was that the only soundtrack music they had was stuff left over from porn films. <laughs> oh, yes. The rubber glove scene from the Raiders of the Lost Stars. <laughs> Actually, I think some people in Sweden then had been watching too much pornography. It had a terrible effect on them. <laughs> anyway, my 13 goals. First, it was my hat-trick against Paraguay. The first one, Piantoni found me in space, but you have already seen those goals, haven't you? Yes, uh, the thing is just that the 1958 film, it's not Sky Sports. They don't cover every angle. Uh, no matter. Let's do it anyway. And Fontaine shoots home. <laughs> Fontaine scores again for France. <laughs> the scorer is the inevitable Fontaine. <laughs> He's carried in triumph on the shoulders of the crowd at the final whistle. And Fontaine shoots home. Fontaine scores again for France. The scorer is the inevitable Fontaine. He is carried in triumph on the shoulders of the crowd at the final whistle. He is carried in triumph on the shoulders of the crowd at the final whistle. He is carried in triumph on the shoulders of the crowd at the final whistle. It's no good. We can't see any of my goals properly. Well, we told you it wouldn't be like Sky Sports. Well, I'm not doing any more unless it still is like Sky Sports. Phew, quite a game. <laughs> One player who's really impressed us here on Sky Sports' exclusive coverage of the 1958 World Cup has been Just Fontaine. Andy. Too right, Richard, and I'll tell you what, I've been looking at some of his goals in, in detail here. Hold on, hold on. We still haven't seen any of my goals properly. Come on, you must have at least one. Mm, I think we have got the last one. The record-breaking 13 goals? Fantastic. Let's do that. Even then, it's not all over. Fontaine runs through all alone to make it 6-3 to France. <laughs> Even then, it's not all over. Uh, Frank Sullivan.
joke during the Phoenix, which he's now going to do. I'm doing live television. Yeah, right. You might have noticed that the FIFA president was in that step ladder. No, I'm telling. I don't care. At least, I just don't care. Yeah, at least you know you didn't spend ages writing it. That's oh, true. Thanks to Helen. Thanks to Alan. It's been a joy. Wednesday's guests are Tim Henman and Chief Rayoni. <laughs> Oh God, it's a power surge. Setha, can you get the door? I've got to get an electrician. Please. Uh, Quick, because it could be someone important. Hello, Hello Jeff. Hello, Jeff. How are you? How are you, mate? <laughs> have you come as Dennis Bannon, the man that paid uh, all that money for my pants? I sure have. <laughs> Something in that voice oh, that stopped me seeing red. All the both of us surely have ended up dead. You stopped us from killing each other. Stop you never know what you say, Bob. Stop you say, Bob. Stop you say, Bob. And I go back from Wales. <laughs> you stopped us from killing 